There it is. There it is. I'm locked in now, guys. X. Come on, Connor. Slide on him. Slide on him. Okay, it's time to lock in, guys. I don't know if it was supposed to go down like this, but it's happening. Slatko. I mean, come on, Luther. Got him in the head. He big for nothing. I haven't seen you for a while. It's good to have you back. It's good to be here. What you really on? There go that face again. Let me just do my intro for before she creep me out. It's too late at night for this. Hey. Welcome back, YouTube. It's good to see you again. We're back for Detroit Become Human. I believe this is episode three. I got to lock the free can. I'm excited. We're here. Roll the recap, Jamal. I'm going to fill y'all in on what happened last time, and then we're going to get into the game. Previously on Detroit Become Human. Push him. Oh! My gosh! Did I kill him? It's too late. Marcus! Don't f***ing move! I can't! I, I can't stop it! You're not even trying! Intervene! That's enough! You need to stop that right now! Oh my goodness! Watch out! Whoa! Oh! Holy sh! Is that Marcus? That's Marcus! I'm in an android dump! Kara! Connor! Don't shoot! We need it alive! Let's go, let's go! Got him! I feel bad! My game glitching out! Ooh! Got me! They got away? Y'all see what's popping? Then y'all know it's time to get into it because last episode was crazy! Yeah! Yeah! Stop! 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 Continue. Once I start hitting notes, I'm going to start acting a fool. Y'all know once I start to hit that note. Okay, okay. I get excited when I'm getting back into a game. I get excited. I'm playing a lot of fun games right now, guys. Y'all don't understand. Get you some fun games to play. It, it make you feel different. You know what I'm saying? Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Okay. Although police Connor. Assistant androids have Okay, we're back to Marcus. He took the chip out. You think they know that Marcus is an android? Can can other androids tell? That's the question. Maybe they like we not snitching. Connor, you gotta get a better shirt. That V neck is out of style. What the heck? Oh. Check symbol. He put it on my hand. Oh, that's fire. Look for graffiti. Okay. Next, uh, next graffiti. That's what I gotta find. So a human body with that symbol in the middle? Is this it right here? There we go. Okay, I don't know why it was taking me a second to figure that out. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, that's a boxing glove. And was that like a lion's face? Okay. What's good with you, sir? Get away from him. It was like a boxing glove. Stay locked in. Okay, I don't see any boxing glove around here. Keep it going. How y'all doing today? What What is it for me right now? It is a Thursday evening at 10, 15 p.m. So Thursday night, I guess. I'm feeling cool. Oh, I see a boxing glove. I see a boxing glove. Okay, let's get there. Oh, talk. See what they got to say. 
They're not saying nothing. They're not, they don't like me because I'm an Android, but I don't have the chip. Now I go here, next to the lion's face, right over here. And there it is. I gotta find two of them? There's the second one. Boom. Two stars and that symbol. Ooh, I, guys, I'll be honest. I actually love walking through the city. It's absolutely beautiful. They built it well. It's actually really pretty. Excuse me, you're gonna hit me? Flip the car. Um, Marcus, I know you're strong enough. <laughs> okay, let's scan this bad boy, guys. There's a symbol right there. And then there's a second one somewhere right here. Faint, but it's there. I got my android eyes. Now I got one above some robots. Um, guys, he's laid out over there. If I had some money, I'd give it to you, but all my money's automated. That's my fault. It's 2038. That's what happens. I'm sorry, man. I only got credit cards in my brain. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Above some robots on a whitish building. There it is. I got lucky. Okay, scan that bad boy. There's one. Gotta look for three of them. Nope, oh, I see two. Uh, three. Where's the third one? That's one. Guys, am I tripping? Am I crazy? Oh, there it is. I can't see it. Oh, I gotta get in there. L1, down. Excellent. Marcus, you gotta get you a better shirt. I'm not gonna let him keep walking around in this V-neck. It's not even like a proper V-neck either. It's kind of torn up. I still got cards, debit cards up here. Stop, don't steal that old man's money. <laughs> Beautiful. On the side of a girl's face. Okay. Go this way. And there it is up there. My gosh, guys, this is so beautiful world building. I love this for you and I love this for me. That's one. Uh, I think I got to get up there because I don't see any down here unless I'm overlooking it. Am I crazy? I think I gotta go up. Find a way to reach the roof. Oh, L1. I just know that's probably heavy, but it's just not for markets. But the thing is, they create these androids to perform like this. I was just about to take some respect away from Marcus's name, but he showed me something, so I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. There we go. There's number two. And number three. Am I tripping? Did I miss number three? Is it right there and I'm tripping? What the? No, nah, they tripping with that guys. They tripping. They tripping. They know they was no. Nah, it was a trick of the it was a trick of the light. Okay. Marcus, can you make that? Cause I slept on him before. Pre construct. I usually do reconstruct with Connor. Use the right stick to select a root. If I do this. Ooh, ooh, would be too unstable. Okay. <gasps> ooh, that's fire. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm about to lock in. I'm about to lock in. And the crazy thing is, he's doing like 
expert level parkour and never had to be taught it. He just had the information up here. That's scary. That's scary. Okay, I got to find something that says sparkle. He just got up there and did some high level parkour. Okay, we got a sparkle city up there. Is that what Detroit's called? Like uh, Chicago's the windy city? Oh! Don't look at that. One. Now where's the second third one? Because they be making these bad boys hard to find. There's the second one. Look, see? I just got lucky. I just got lucky because I did not see that. I couldn't even tell what that was. Preconstruct. Ooh, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, look for a route. If I go this way. Oh, that was a solid plan. Then if I go here. Come on, Marcus. <laughs> Lock in. Can I take the wall route? Oh my gosh. Then up here, huh? Huh? Now, after all I done seen Marcus do, no way he can't make that jump. They cheated me. Try this one. Compute. He don't even feel it in his joints either. Every single one of my bones would be popping if I tried this. Look at it said, pop, pop. Pop. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at him, not even break, breaking a sweat, not breathing hard, no nothing. I'd have been up there drenched. <laughs> next graffiti. Okay, like some yellow next to a, a what? Some. I'm looking for some yellow. Right here. Isn't this the next graffiti or am I just following the trail at this point? Oh my goodness, take a look at this. Oh. Okay, we're seeing some other androids. Can I get through here? None of these paths are open. Okay, I'm just exploring, guys. I want to see all my options. Anything over here? No. Look, guys, I'm getting dazed again. Oh, I see it guys, I see it. I saw the vision. There it is, there it is. Okay, now we gotta go into a wooded area. It looks like it's straight ahead. Come on. How am I doing on camera time? I'm doing excellent. How am I doing on my handsomeness? I'm excellently handsome. Let's keep going. <laughs> Y'all know me. You gotta compliment yourself sometimes. It's not vain, it's um, uplifting. Mm. Oh my gosh. Just talk to him, Jamal. Talk to me nice. Jericho, I found it. Ooh, the blue and green eyes is fire. Jericho. Reach the boat. Is that boat Jericho? Y'all think androids out on that boat? Oh. Oh. That just gave me a whole heart attack. Oh my gosh. Okay, not this way. Look. Compute. <laughs> Execute, but I thought they was going to let me do something there. So I got to find a new way, I guess. Find another way. Okay. Let me get on up there. Or do I have to compute it? OK, 
okay i'm really curious how being a deviant works when it comes to like feeling emotions and things like that because we know deviants can feel emotions and like they process things that they're not supposed to be able to but i wonder like does it come on in waves or is it like you become a deviant and then you immediately start to feel things because when we interrogated that one deviant he was like finally i started to realize it wasn't fair and he started to like be scared and realize that he didn't want to die and it's like now that marcus is a deviant how much of that is he feeling like when he's climbing up this stuff does he have fear any fear of dying i'm genuinely curious to know that Okay, careful Marcus. Or maybe he's not scared. Maybe I don't need to stay careful. He can compute it. The camera angle was fire. Jump? Yeah, he's not scared. He's not scared. They just answered my question. Who was he, Batman? He didn't know how deep that was or did he compute it on the way down. I'm just wondering. He didn't seem to be scared. Okay. Lost my trench coat. So this is Jericho? I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm scared. Okay, and we just found a random flashlight that just so happens to work. I'm scared. I feel like I'm playing Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Still scariest game I ever played. Don't ask me about it. Don't spook me. Ah! I'm hearing stuff. I'm seeing stuff. Don't do it. Anybody behind me? I got to check all my surroundings. Nothing. Okay. What about this one? So, uh, 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 I thought something was coming up on me. Push it. Android on the run. Runaway machine causes panic in Camden. With miles of unspoiled nature. Okay, I don't care about that. Let's read it. That's Kara. Residents in the Detroit suburb of Camden were witness to a thrilling chase today after Connor was chasing Kara, including roadblocks and dozens of police interviews flushed out a felony fugitive. But this is a fugitive with a difference. The suspect is an Android. The model is thought to be suffering from an extremely rare malfunction and took extreme measures to avoid police even dashing across a busy highway to avoid pursuing officers. Wow. Eyewitnesses statements are inconclusive and no official reports. It's impossible to say uh, for sure what really happened. No cyberlife spokesperson was available for comment and speculation looks set to continue. Okay, I like that. I like that. They're including like lore about the story as it happens. I like that. Restart scam. I mean, restart camera. Get spooked. Let's keep going. Sorry, guys. Y'all know. Look, I hope I'm not rambling, but I just I get scared and I have to talk and I love talking to y'all. I hope that's okay with y'all. Okay, just keep going. <laughs> I actually thought about cutting it off just then. I actually considered it. Come on, Marcus, you gotta be careful. Go in. Why are you tripping? 
Oh. Jericho? This sucks. Man, I wish I could sprint right now. What's happening? Get in that wind, Marcus. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. No, it won't. They don't feel pain. Stand. That's the crazy thing. That didn't even hurt. Can you imagine a world where that happens and it wouldn't hurt? Because it didn't hurt him. Maybe it like dazed his, his, his functions, but it didn't hurt. Jericho. Why they gotta look at Jericho? I made it to Jericho. Okay, met the people of Jericho. Okay, let's go back to the beginning for a second. So we started out at arrive at Ferndale, and then that's where I read some stuff. I exited the station, and I could have either followed the signs or something else. I don't know what that could have been. I left the streets. There's something up there that's undiscovered. Reached the roof. Explored an abandoned office. Located Jericho. Went inside the boat. Got extremely spooked by some android that was freaking rabid. I don't know what happened there. Screamed like a lunatic. And I met the people of Jericho. It, I mean, it wasn't a warm welcome, but hopefully we'll explore more of that soon. Let's get into the next one, baby. How y'all feeling today? Y'all feeling cool? Did I ask that already? I'm feeling cool. Hank, talk to me nice. Hank, you ran into the street, not them. Break inside with Lieutenant Anderson. All right, let's get over there. Oh. Number five and the third. Lickety split. Philly's one hell of a chaser. They gambling? Are they doing bets? Last sh** hot tip you gave me. Sitting back in each way to spread it. Come on. This is different. It's 100% guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Hank, don't be foolish. Scan him. Let's see. Abdar Pedro. Unemployed, criminal record, illegal gambling, fraud. Why they gotta do Pedro like that? Pedro didn't do nothing to them. <laughs> oh wait, there's one more thing. Do that one. You won't let me? There we go. Lieutenant Anderson Hank, I already know that. That's my boy Hank. Okay, that's all I can do for now, I guess. All right, I'm in. Damn straight. How much cash did you hey, give him, Hank? Won't regret this. Yes, you will. And don't get smart either. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around <laughs> like a poodle. Carter's faces be crazy. Apologize, partners. Reconcile review facts. Um, apologize. I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh wow! You've even got a brown nosing apology program. I'm being sincere. I thought everything, huh? Hank, I can't please Hank. Here you go. Uh Scan it. Uh, Connor, how could you see it through the box? He got x-ray vision too, Superman. 1,680 calories. Slap it off Slap it off the countertop. Don't let Hank eat it. <laughs> Don't leave that thing here. Uh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. I'll shoot you. You know I carry a weapon, right? You keep that back turned. Fool. Hank, that one bite had 300 calories. Gambling, cholesterol, have it, enjoy your meal. Uh, gambling. This Pedro? 
He was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet. Yeah. Oh. Connor's like, wait, what? That's not in my programming. Cholesterol, tell him about it now. Your meal contains 1.4 times the recommended daily intake of calories and twice the cholesterol level. You shouldn't eat that. Everybody's got to die of something. I respect that. And that's why I'm going to eat me a burrito tomorrow. Let's see, um, about Connor. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, well, come on. Yeah. Okay. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Spit. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they f***ed up. Oh, <laughs> All right, Hank. All right, Hank and androids. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? Uh-oh. Connor, quit asking that. Deviants. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids. Okay. Which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, mm. which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Okay. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> you ever dealt okay. with deviants before? I mean, yeah, my previous version. A few months back. Dang. A deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. Well, this would be done all your homework, right? This would be different if I didn't save her. There is to know about me. Everything except why you hate deviants. I'm focused on the case, Lieutenant. I mean androids. The rest doesn't concern me. Ooh. I thought I was spitting. Here we go with this. It's a few blocks away. You should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. I thought. I thought I made the right choice. Hey, Connor. You ran out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh, well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? <laughs> no. I'm coming. Carter's a freaking weirdo. A cool question the so suspect. What do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Okay. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh. Christ, we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise. We're going to need more cop. He could just rip it out. He could just rip the android, could just rip it out. Oops. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Hey, you know me. I, I could do that. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> Slap Hank. <laughs> Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police. Somebody's home. Stay behind me. Got it. Connor, why would you stay behind Hank? Yeah, I respect Hank for taking charge though. Get in there, get in the wind. A pattern. What the heck is this? Oh, it won't let me analyze it. It's just there. Y'all told me that there are certain times where it's good to read and certain times where it's not as good. The latest narcotic crisis, NATO Security Council divided over Arctic dispute, UN warns of World War III. Okay, I'm not going to read that right now because I want to make sure I'm locked in. I got to get in. I got to get into action. Those camera angles were nuts. What the f is this? 
Did nobody tell you to bust in there, Hank? Jesus, this place stinks. Look at it. Well, looks like we came for nothing. Our man. Military jacket. Second hand initials RT. RT. Probably initials. Okay. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. What does that mean? That's the question. Anything to analyze, anything to look at. Anything to look at, anything to analyze. Oh, there's still somebody in here. I hear it. Where am I? I need some fresh air. My fault. I went the wrong direction. Open up. The floorboards. What are we missing here? Guys, we're missing something. Ooh, let me look over here. Wait, that, what did it say? Con uh, confirm suspect is deviant. Find the cause of loud noise. Okay, there's a couple things I haven't looked at yet. Take it. Fake ID. Michigan enhanced driver. Driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. And then there's a room over here. Look. What is that bird doo-doo? Jesus, I hate these things. Did you see it? There's some blue blood. Check it out, guys. Hold on, hold on. Did you see it? Check this out. There it is. He did rip it out. Bio component, the LED. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fing pigeons. Look around. Real books. I thought I was the last guy to. Lock in, Connor. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. Oh! It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Huh. Obsessive compulsive writing. Analyze it. There's number one. Recently disturbed traces of avian fecal matter. Okay. Bird doo-doo. That's what that means. It's, uh, uh, traces of bird doo-doo. Still wet used recently. A marker. Reconstruct that bad boy. Suspect was here recently. <laughs> it fell off the chair. Suspect ran to the living room. Okay, let's put this bad boy together, guys. Y'all know me. Once I lock Abra Connor, I can't be beat. Okay. Clue number one. Finger marks. Traces of avian fecal matter, but no fingerprints. Meaning it was an android. Because some fool thought not to give the android's finger um, prints. Skid mark. The android doo dooed <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh shoot, that's funny. Metal hook recently broken. Let's reconstruct. First we go here. Oh, that suspect was getting a move on. What am I looking at here? There it is. Suspect heard us enter. Look around. And went up into the ceiling. Suspect is still here. There it is, guys. There it is. Bird seed. I can't believe Hold on, hold on. I'm getting nervous. This nut job is actually feeding these fuckers. It's up in the ceiling, Hank. Why doesn't Connor say anything? 
here. There it is. It jumped. Damn pigeons. It's in the what are you waiting for? Chase it. Hank, um, give me your gun. X. Square. Oh yeah, this is it. This is it. Come on, Connor, show me the moves. Here we go. I love these chase scenes with Connor. Come on! Uh, fast but risky. Y'all know I gotta do it. Let's go. We're doing this. Balance, the safety tour. Fast but risky. Let's do this. Y'all know y'all know me. Oh! I missed. Oh! I missed both of those. Uh, crowded but direct. We're taking all the fast routes. Look out. Excuse me. There it is. Be ready. Oh, Connor got hops too. Here we go. X. X. Oh my gosh, this is fire. Come on, Connor. Lift it up. Run. Run. There he is. Uh, fast but risky. This way. Fast but risky always. Let's go. There it is. There it is. I'm locked in now, guys. X. Come on, Connor. Slide on him. Slide on him. I missed it. Ooh. I messed up, guys. That's my bad. That's my bad. This way. There you go, Connor. Oh my goodness. Yes, this is Connor. This is Connor. How is it still this far ahead of me? Hey, Shut your dang mouth. I'll come back for you. Come on. The crazy thing is, neither one of them are getting tired. Scan. Crowded but direct. Let's go. Look out. Get in the wind. Make that jump. This is it. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. X. Ooh. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Come on, Connor. Hank. Uh, chance of survival 89% or chase deviant. Oh, safe Hank. Oh, I, sh I saved Hank. Should I have? We had it. Hank, you messed this up. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. Yeah, get out the way. That's all right. We know what it looks like. I should do something to Hank. Got his big tail in the way. Now we couldn't catch the deviant. Now you got Connor mad. Connor. Nothing. Was he going to say thanks? Was it worth it? Off of an 89% chance of survival? I don't know. Oh, man, he got away. But I guess it's because I saved Hank. Look at the last two. Okay, let's start at the back, though. Let's start at the back. How much time I got? 51 seconds. Excellent. Lunch break. We joined Hank. We spoke to him. <laughs> I warned Hank about cholesterol. That didn't end well. We went into the elevator, into the nest. We found all these um, LED. We saw the RA9 references, 2,471, something like that. We found Rupert, the deviant, chased him. We gained on him. Oh, I guess there was an option for... To not gain on him? Rupert pushes Hank, and instead of going for Rupert, despite Hank having an 89% chance of survival, we saved Hank. Should I have gone for Rupert? Maybe. But we did save Hank, and that's a W. And Hank's arrow went up a little bit too, so, but Rupert did get away. Guys, that was crazy. Let's go into the next one while I restart my camp. Here we go. This is nuts. All right, talk to me, Marcus. Fugitives, just like you. 
My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. Y'all still got y'all's LEDs? Jericho. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. Free Trail Android Refuge. Uh, refuge. I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. Mm. We don't belong to anybody. Trail. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. There's a place where we can be free. Why you gotta keep showing me this? That's scary. I understand how you feel. But we have more freedom here than you ever did. Lost Somber Lucid Direct. Uh, direct? Waiting in the dark for something to happen? That's not how I see freedom. Marcus got guts. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. Why Marcus come in criticizing like that? You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. RA9? Oh, I'm injured. Find Lucy. Explore Jericho. Okay, guys, let's do some exploration. Can I talk to you? Somebody's in here humming. Talk to him. Lucy? Are you Lucy? Oh. She needs some new Sit eyes. Down. I'd be like, and if I don't want to, <laughs> they'd probably kill me. Show me. She don't have a head. Lift it. Well, it's just a little gash. I stopped the bleeding. Ooh. You can cauterize um, Android components and parts? Make it make sense. Drink this. Is that blue blood? Guys, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. I'm bewildered. She just cauterized an Android component. And now he's drinking blue blood. Androids have stomachs for food and liquid? So do they do do? Give me your hand. Here. Oh no, more coordinates. Yeah, I'd, I'd definitely snatch my hand away and then they'd kill me. For you sure. It all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell and now hell lives in you. Dang. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Shadow. Your choices will shape our destiny. They gonna kiss? I just, they got close. Okay, so Marcus is clearly important. She said, your choices will shape our destiny. I mean, the way Marcus came in talking like he was running stuff. He said, this is what y'all doing right here in Jericho? Like, dang, bro, uh, have some thankfulness that they invited you here. None of y'all got nothing to say? Oh. Not in very good shape, am I? 
diagnostic program isn't working. Lucy couldn't fix you? I not have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. Oh my goodness. I have fun. I don't want to shut down. No. I don't want to shut down. Oh, wow. Why is that actually pretty sad? They're trying to put me in the fields on this game already. Just creeping around, seeing who I can talk to. Catch it. North. Time here, wounded Jericho, you. Time here. How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, eleven hours. When so I not, escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Not too much longer than me. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. You. What was your function before coming here? What do you care? See what I mean? It's like I just asked a simple question and then they stopped liking me? I should snatch that LED off your head. A Jericho. Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. RA9, I could tell you that much. Whoever he was, his body's probably laying somewhere on this boat. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. I'm finna go form a new Jericho. And you know what I'm gonna call it? New Jericho. <laughs> They're gonna be mad. <laughs> Get away from North. Before I go for that LED. Hold on, we got a big body over here. Put the light in his face. Okay, let's keep it pushing. Crate already empty. He's got like legs and stuff. Analyze it. Cyberlife Warehouse and Docks, West Torrance Avenue, Detroit, Michigan. Calculating route. Oh my god. They be scaring me with this stuff, bro. Propose a plan to Simon. I had a lighter? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Simon, where you at, cuh? Oh. Mm, I didn't even think about children, um, androids. They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. Wow. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. Mm. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. Okay. This is a problem. Wow. Anything to say? Excuse me. What about you? I've heard humans are afraid of dying too. How <laughs> most of us are. Do you know what happens after death? Speak no. your truth, Marcus. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. Maybe, maybe they'll share something about RA9. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. You finna shut down right in front of me? Marcus, let go of the hand. Okay, well, we just got a few more components. I'm just saying, it's sad, and I hate to see her go. But we did just get a few more components. I'm just saying, we need components. 
We can go help that other one that's sitting on the floor. Start the fire. Okay. Okay, I think we interacted with everything that we could. Simon. You send us stuff to Cyberlife like Connor? I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We've Whoa! Got weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just Marcus. get killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Shut up, North. Maybe it's worth a try. Marcus came in here giving demands. You see this? Marcus Marcus came in here and he's immediately switching it up on them. They don't let Marcus take control that quick. He said, and that's why we won't ask permission. Dang, Marcus. Y'all know I'm here for it. I still miss something? Bro, I thought I got everything. Inside Jericho. Talk to Dying Android. Talk to Josh. Talk to North. Talk to Damage Android. Talk to Lucy, check the empty crate, talk to Simon. Marcus hatched a plan. That's what we call it now hatched. Okay. I'm here for this, guys. I'm here for this. Let's do like let's do at least one more section. Let's do at least one more section. Maybe this is Carl, because I hadn't seen her and Alice in a while. Yeah, yeah. Alice is warm. But she don't look like it. We're walking through the rain. You're gonna be okay? Okay, we're at like Luigi's Mansion? I don't know. This is the place. Cara, I'm gonna tell you right now, this is not Jericho. If that's where you think you're at. Okay, let's make our way inside. Hello, hello. I hate when people double ring like that. Don't give me no time to get to the dope. Are you Zlotko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. Zlotko, please. Sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Please. Come on in. Don't be shy. You don't think he knows Car is an android? Excuse me. Because, I mean, without having the LED, there's no way he should know um, Car is an android, right? Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? A big oh, body! Don't be afraid of a big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. Okay, so he does know. His big, empty old house. Dang, Luther, big! He looked like, um... DK Metcalf. Doesn't he look like DK Metcalf? Make yourselves at home. So he knows cars and android. This is where we go for when we need help, I guess. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Deviant, huh? How does he know? What about her? She's human. Do you help humans as well? And 
you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. At least tell me where Jericho is. is. It's very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes, open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Oh, Great so they wouldn't know. Start. They wouldn't know cars and android. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. Of course. I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. Is that true? I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. That don't make no sense, though, because why, why would we have Connor doing all of these? Can wait for us in the living room. Hold on. No, she always stays with me. Of course. Why, why would we have Connor doing all of these? Everything we need is in the basement. Hold on, guys. I'm trying to get my thoughts out. Why would we have Connor doing all of these chases when these androids just have a tracker? We could just use a tracker. Zlatko. No, nope, nope. Y'all saw that? Zlat, you can't trust him. Why I don't would like this place and that man? Let's go. I have a bad feeling. Uh, careful. I know. I don't trust him either. We have to be careful. That's what I'm saying. I'm like. Please excuse the mess. I need it somewhere discreet for my machines. This is not hidden the right. It doesn't make sense. It's illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. Alice, what you see? No, she'll be all right. That's good. Because we got Connor searching for androids when they got trackers. It doesn't add up. Somebody is lying. Check on Alice. Come on, Alice. What this did that mean? Is. Can I unlock this one too? Okay, I unlock something. <laughs> if you could just stand over there on here I don't know guys this I don't know something's not hitting right it just doesn't make sense that there's a tracker I've been talking about that this whole time this could be quite unpleasant oh Yeah, look around. You know what's strange? Tell me some. For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. That's why it's so hard to find them. I knew it. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. I knew it. You said that. Yeah, but people believe what they want. That's what I said. You Deviants. Are so naive. Come on, Luther. They'll come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No! I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Well, this is scary. Oh, I forgot about the. Luther, put that hand on her. Uh, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Wow. Luther, you really doing this? Indian that wants to be a mother. That's that's so sweet. I'm so deluded. Get back! Let me restart my camera. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. I gotta do something. What can I do? Luther, take your hand off Kara. I mean, take your hand off Alice. Get back! That's what you get for having a dream. It always ends up the same way. Kick him in his throat. I know Carr is flexible. Believe me. You're better off being erased and feeling nothing. No more pain. No more. Oh my gosh. He, he's making me mad. 
almost down to you. Kara! <laughs> oh, poor little Alice. Alice. Memory oh, corruption looks detected. Like Mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks I like forgot Mommy my memory. Forgotten you. Kara, what <laughs> happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. <laughs> Hold on. You bit me. Do something to him. Teach you some manners, you little. Oh my gosh! Kara, wake up, Kara! The little girl, Luther. Meet me in the living room. Can you help me out first? Meet me in the living room. He not gonna take the cables out my neck first. It's like if I go up to you in handcuffs and your your legs and feet chained up, and I say, "Meet me in the car." Like, bro, take the handcuffs off first. What are we doing here? Are you kidding me? All they had to do was snatch out that cable. Big tail, good for nothing. Push it. Spot out. That didn't do a thing. Cause a short circuit. But how? What could I do? Anything I could use? Did I miss something, guys? Oh, blue cable. There we go. L1. Got it. Pull that bad boy. Did that work? I don't think that worked, guys. Try for the other cable. What happened? Did I fail? Did I forget stuff? Meet Luther in the living room. The guy, um, I can't even tell if I did it or not. Look. Help us. Oh. Open the cell. Should I have opened it? I'm scared. What are y'all doing? You have to remember. For her sake. Oh my goodness, he's a pervert! Creating monsters. For his amusement. He's a pervert. But who's the real monster? Look what he did to us. Oh! He's like Sid from Toy Story. Okay. What can we do to remember? Come on, Alice. Am I remembering? M hashtag hashtag at. Okay, I remember something. Get to the living room. Meet Luther. Excuse me. I done forgot how to walk. We got to go find Alice. Come on, come on. Look. I hate Zlatko. I'm remembering things. I'm remembering things. Okay, anytime I find a prompt like that, I gotta make sure I do it so I can continue to remember. Look around. Look around at anything. Look around at everything. Okay. Open it. Is this, does this lead outside? Okay, locked. How do I get, um, anything to see? Where's the living room? Is it in here or is it upstairs? 
Luther, you're too Madam big to be Dean sitting Frank. like that. Take it up to him. Yes, Luther. Oh, wait. I don't think it was Luther's intention to help me. I think that the intention was for my memory to go away. And now I'm just a servant in the house and Luther's like accompanying me and serving my master? I'm the whole time I'm thinking Luther's supposed to be helping me when Luther's an op. I'm like, Luther, help. Oh. Uh, just set it down on the table over there. I did not get this. What table? What type of food? That's why, that you, that's why you uh, built like that. He does kind of look like Todd. Did you hear what I said? Yes, Lotko. He does look like Todd. Okay. The car is putting it back together. Luther! Luther! Here come Luther to serve his yes, freaking master. I should be down here in 10 minutes or so. I'll have a look at the little one and see what I can do with it. Understood, Zlako. Yeah, we got to get out. you the little one in 10 minutes. We got to get out of here. 10 minutes remaining. Okay, I gotta lock in, guys. Who is the little girl? It's Alice. I got to do something to remember. What did that say? To workshop. Okay, observe. That should have helped me remember, um, um, what's the dude's name from the last episode? The one who helped me out? I forgot his name already. A uh, Ralph! That should have helped me remember Ralph. There go Todd, doing the nasty. My name is Kara. I remembered. Find Alice. To corridor. That's all I had to do was remember. I remembered. Let's go. Alice, you're in one of these rooms. What are you doing here? Has the master authorized you to be here? You must always obey the master. Oh yes, you must always obey. You should not be here. You have no business here. What are you doing? You're not gonna hurt me. No. No. This is scary. I wouldn't do that. Spirit. No. Should I have shut it? Should I have shut it now? Get out, get out, get out. Oh wait, what's in here? My goodness, Latko's a f Zlatko's is scary. I gotta get out of here. I don't want to look at any of this stuff. This is super creepy. To storage. Open it. Is this where I was just at? My fault, y'all. I'm dazed. I'm dazed. Get out of here. How much time do I have left? Seven minutes and 16 seconds. Oh, excuse me, Luther. I don't need to go in the bathroom. I know what's in there. He's uh, up. Uh, is he going to do something to me? Open it. I'm scared of Luther. Where is Check? What was that for? What did that mean? 
I don't know what that was about. Turn it on. Detroit residents were disturbed by a surprising chase through the city streets this morning. What do I care about public opinion? I'm wasting time, guys. Can't open that. I gotta go. I gotta go. Watch for Luther. Do not let him big body you. Open it. Come on. This has to be it, the way she's opening the door. Okay, here we go. Alice. Let's rescue Alice and get out of here. Cory, you remember me. How could I forget you? I'm so sorry. You were right, we never should have come here. We have to go. Okay. Follow me and don't make any noise, okay? We don't have time. And we gotta get something to do something to Luther just in case. He's too big for this. Luther! Oh no. Yes, Locke. I'm finished here. Go fetch the little one. Right away, Zach. Okay. What can we do? What can we do? Go into big bedroom. <laughs> I gotta hide. Um. Ah! Get in here. What? Get in, get in, get in. Slat Co! Slat Co! What are you waiting for? Go look. Ah! Ah! What's happening? Was I supposed to do this? He's shooting a shotgun at me? Nope, nope. Uh, to the bathroom. Uh, put something in front of it? Okay, it's time to lock in, guys. I don't know if it was supposed to go down like this, but it's happening. Slatko, I mean, come on, Luther! Got him in the head, he big for nothing! Go. Go! I'm locked in! There's no point in running! You can't escape from me! Attack him now! Now get the shotgun out of his hand! We gotta get the gun away from him! Bro, we're not doing anything to big old Luther! Oh! There we go! Why wouldn't we get rid of the shotgun? Oh yeah, yep, this is it, this is it. Luther, quit walking around like that! Come on. Come on. No, because the front door was locked. The front door was locked. I remember that. Kara. Did I make it? I'm outside. Why is Luther just walking? Alice! Here we go with Alice. Go, Alice! No! I won't leave! Go! Run as fast as you can! Look how much time we just wasted! Couldn't I have just got up and ran? Yeah, because we didn't take the shotgun from you. him! Dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. Luther! Get out of my way. No. Not this time. Luther's deviant too? Get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. So much for that. How dare you. This is the reenactment of the Toy Story scene. What are you doing? Who let you out? Rip him apart and play with Get him. Away. What? Whoa, I don't know Get what away. that meant. Obey me. I'm your master. I'm your master. Yep, beat them down. Rip them eyes out, then rip the ears off. Rip the nostrils off, too. That's it? Y'all didn't do nothing to him like y'all should have. But Luther, after you attacked me and grabbed me, bro, you could have helped me out sooner, big tail. 
I should. Ooh. Hold, hold on to that gun. I didn't want to hurt you. He programmed me to obey him. When I saw the little one risk her life to save you, it was like opening my eyes for the first time. Why don't they just call her Alice? I, could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you across the border. Jericho? I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. All right, Luther. I trust you. If we agree to this, you got to lock in better than you did against me because he was doing some stupid stuff. I was so scared of losing you. Hey, but we gained a big black guy, though. A big black android deviant? That counts for something. We gained DK Metcalf? <laughs> Dang! How much time I got left? Three minutes and 45 seconds on my camera? Perfect. Let's look through this for a minute. This one was complicated. My fault, y'all. I get excited. This was this one was complicated and convoluted. So we looked for help at the at Zlatko's house. Turns out he was a freaking lunatic, piece of crap, perverted moron. Okay. Kara is reset. And then we started obeying my master, but I freed the monsters. Were those people that came out the ones that I freed? If so, that's a W. If so, that is a W and I deserve a round of applause for that. That's enough. Okay, we uh, entered the storage room and into the bathroom, but we spared that one android, for better or worse. Um, let's see. We, we ended up exploring the house to recover my memory. We did so. Until we rec uh, recollected those memories, got my memory back, and searched for Alice, found her, and then we had to hide from Luther and Zlatko. Until eventually we got spotted, we busted out, the chase started, this was action packed. And from there, um, Carr and Alice escaped. And you know what else I think was a W? I'm betting something different would have happened if I went for the front door. Because remember, when I first got in there and checked the front door, that bad boy was locked. So I knew not to go to the front door and I went to the back door and it was open. I bet if I would have gone to the front, it would have been locked. I feel like that was a W, guys. I feel like I locked the freak in. So Zlatko catches up. The monster ambushes Zlatko. Luther joins Kara and Alice. So now we got Luther on the team. That's fire. Okay. Now it's time to take it back to the main menu, guys. Let's take it on back because we're going to hit it here for today. All right, guys, I got to say, this was an action-packed episode from Connor on the chase, from Marcus finding Jericho, from Kara having to de defeat Zlatko and joining up with Luther. This was nothing but action. Nope, don't start. I know she's about to say something. Let me end the video. Guys, if you enjoyed it, this excellent episode of Detroit Become Human, then go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment. Let me know if I was locked in. Let me know if I had some W's because I feel like I did. And then I'm going to pray us out of here, guys. Bow your heads with me if you're willing. Don't interrupt my prayer either. Lord, I thank you for this day. I thank you for allowing us to come together for this episode of Detroit Become Human. God, I come praying for joy. I pray for peace. And I pray that we can put love first in everything that we do, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Peace out, y'all. I'm going to see y'all for the next episode. I'm guessing from here on out, it's really about to start being like some real, real action. Because with Marcus, we got to go get parts for the androids in Jericho. With Carl, we just uh, teamed up with um, Luther. And with Connor, we're finding all these different deviants and we're going on constant chases as a policeman. I'm loving it, guys. This is fire. We need to proceed to a test of your controller. I mean, it's vibrating. The test is now complete. Thank you for your cooperation. Peace out. I'll see y'all soon. Get away from me.